guys and welcome to another episode and today it's gonna be very interesting as I am introducing you to Singapore's major public transportation system so as part of my traveling journey today while meeting a friend you can join me to travel by MRT and by bus so what are you waiting for let's go Singapore's transport system is one of the best worldwide. In fact, it is ranked fourth after Hong Kong, Zurich, and Stockholm. Determining factors include affordability, convenience, efficiency, and sustainability. Making public transport more accessible to people in Singapore has been the long-term goal. They have always been considerate and thinks of better way to provide convenience to everyone who needs it. This is the updated MRT map of Singapore. I love how their metro system works, which means you can easily transfer by line of your route without getting out. Unlike other MRT platforms I have seen and experienced in other countries, Singapore gives me the ease of traveling. Signs and directions are everywhere. It can easily be spotted and are easy to understand. They use three languages, but mostly it is in English. Tourist friendly indeed. Yes, train schedule never missed. They also have this timetable where it will show you how many minutes is your travel time from one station to another. It really helps to plan your schedule, especially when you are late. Inside a train, I can say that it is very spacious enough to accommodate commuters during rush hour, especially on a weekdays. Yes, it can be crowded, but not to the point of touching each other's shoulders or that you will feel suffocated. They have a pretty impressive cooling temperature inside too. EasyLink cards can be top up via general ticketing machines at bus interchanges and train stations. You can pay via cash, debit, or credit card for faster transactions. The contactless ticketing system where the EasyLink card is connected to an app is pretty amazing too. You can do it anywhere you are. You can also use EasyLink card by riding a bus. Bus stop locations are always within the neighborhood vicinity and just right outside MRT stations. They have corresponding bus stop name based on the landmark and will display the bus numbers that bus stops by the location. Buses operate by numbers and have an extensive network of routes that will help you zip around the city. A location table installed on each stop will guide you arrive at your destination without getting lost. Now I am riding a double-decker bus. It offers a relaxing view of the city from a high place and the peace and quiet from the bustle of the first floor. What's great about their bus system is that by tapping in and out correctly, it gives them the data and numbers to carefully plan their course of action with commuter travel patterns how crowded buses can be, and calculate distances per location.
You can also download any Singapore Bus app for your convenience. It's using data directly from Land Transport Authority of Singapore, which gives you a real-time view when your next bus will arrive. I hope you get something from this video and if you have any questions, suggestions, you can just comment down below. Once again, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Bye! Yeah.